Yo, what's going on everyone? Today I'm back with trip to the thrift number nine. Uh, so the other ones have been going really well and I've got some more pickups I want to show you. In today's episode, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's not so much vintage stuff, it's more just nice things that I picked up. Uh, so we will get into them in a minute. If you missed the last video, link will be in the description below or go and check the other ones out. Uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe and um, yeah. We'll get on to the items now, so uh, see you in a minute. Right guys, so first up, um, I have a pair of shoes. So as I said before with the Converse, I don't usually pick up shoes unless they're either a good price or in good condition. And these ones are brand new. Don't have the tags on them, but I was looking at them and you, you'll be able to see that they're brand new, never been worn. So uh, these anyway are Puma Suede. So these ones are, I'll just get the one for now. So these are like all grey, as you can see they've got like an all grey suede upper with like a lighter grey with the, um, uh, what's this called? Like a like the Puma, the Puma stripe. On the back, you've got the little gold Puma. Uh, uh, it's not gonna, it's too light outside to show it, but you've got the gold Puma and then on here just says Puma suede in gold and then I'll show you the tongue just has puma there so um the reason i know these are brand new if you look at the soles they are unworn completely and you can tell that, that obviously there's like there's a tiniest little bit of dirt so what i'm thinking is either someone bought these uh and then just like sort of tried them on and they didn't fit so they had them show it or a shoe shop or something like that hand them in and obviously people just wear them to try them on but all the laces were done up like well these are a bit shit now but they were done up like they were would be in a shoe shop so yeah that was a nice pickup got these for a decent price um because i actually took took back uh, some stuff to that place that didn't uh, i didn't sell or just didn't really want them uh and uh yes yeah, so i picked them up in exchange with some uh, with other items so uh, next up, I have, um, what am I going to show next? Uh, I've got a couple of um, Ralph Lauren pieces, so I will show them now. So this one is a couple of a couple of episodes back, I showed a, um, a Ralph Lauren jumper with like a, uh, not a roll neck, but anyway, it's the same as this one pretty much. The other one was kind of brand new. Uh, so this one, as you, I don't know if you can see here, so you just got the, it's just Ralph Lauren, um, I don't know what this is, it's just like a, a jumper really with the quarter zip here, uh, I don't know if you can see that, so quarter zip, and then this is just all black with the little purple horse, so yeah that's nice that is, um, and then I'll show you the tagging inside, oh there you go, anyway, Take my word for it, it's an extra large. So I was going to keep this myself, but I'll, it's up for sale. So if anyone wants it, then check that one out. Uh, next up, another Alpha Red piece. This is really nice, actually. Um, so this is a button up shirt. So it's yellow, as you can see. Uh, and if you can tell, if it zooms in, you've got blue and white pinstripes going down the arms and go down the shirt so this is really smart and then obviously we've got the little navy horse there see that and then the tagging not sure all the other little pieces i have i'm pretty sure the color on the so yeah you're there it's like blue on the tag and then white font usually this is um yellow not sure if that means anything but yeah well, it, Pretty sure this is 100% authentic, so that's not fake. And the tag actually looks pretty much new. You can't really tell on camera, but um, yeah, the tag's like new. It doesn't look like it's been washed very much at all. So that's another nice Ralph Lauren pickup. Um, I also got those two within the same. Well, actually, no, I didn't. That's a lie. Uh, I picked up. So I picked up the Ralph Lauren black one in the same exchange with the Puma Suede and then this I got in an exchange in another charity shop because basically I I bagged up a load of stuff from the last couple of weeks that I hadn't sold or I didn't want to keep anymore I thought I paid too much for it and then uh, I just took them back so that's a tip if um, if 
you go to charity shop, thrift shops a lot, then make sure you keep what I usually do. So you see on here, I keep the rest, I keep the tag on it. Before I used to just take them off, chuck them in the bin. But then, if you want to take it back or return it, or there's something wrong with it, then um, you can't because they normally won't won't let you won't give you a refund. They might give you an exchange if they're feeling nice. But yeah, what I would recommend is um, keep all the tags on until you sell it. it. That's if you're selling it. If you're keeping it for yourself and everything's fine, then obviously you just take it off. Uh, and then make sure you store all your receipts in a safe place because I've lost quite a lot of receipts of stuff I want to take back. So, um, And also another quick tip, they don't usually like you taking lots and lots of stuff back just because obviously it's a charity. And... Um, but normally they'll be fine with exchanges. So if you take stuff back, and like I got a lot, so I would spend money in there anyway. So if I got like store credit or I got an exchange, then that's fine by me. Um, anyway, enough rambling there. That's just a couple of quick tips there. I'm gonna have a video coming soon on my top tips, as I've been saying for weeks, but yeah, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And uh, also I think what I might do, uh, um, obviously this is my first month on YouTube, uh, so what I might do is at the end of so it's, what, the 30th now, so last day of the month tomorrow, I might record and upload my video for Wednesday, which will be the first, I believe. Um, I'm going to might upload a video on my top five pickups of this month. Uh, obviously a lot of them I don't have anymore, which is the only problem, but I've got pictures and stuff of all of them so I can show you them and I can just let you know. Anyway, last item in this little section is a, I don't know how to pronounce this brand and I've got it so much, but I think it's Berg, Berghaus, Berghaus, see there. So it's a well-known like outerwear, um, yeah, like an outdoors wear brand. So this is just like a windbreaker slash raincoat. Um, you've got the mesh inner lining here. So it's not, it's not that thick. Um, so as I said, it's just like a rain shelter. Oh, what's it called? Like a light shower um, thing or um, a windbreaker. So yeah, that's nice size XL, I believe. Yeah, size XL. Um, so this is just in like a navy dark grey colour with the little little badge here. So yes, I will get on to the clips now, and then we'll get on to the final items. Peace. So in this last section, I have um, two Fred Perry items and an Armani jeans coat. So as I said, these aren't really vintage pieces, which is a shame, I like picking up vintage stuff, but they're all very nice and all in very good condition. So I also like that. Anyway, I will start with the Armani jeans first, and then we'll get the Fred Perry together. So this is, oh, this is just a Armani jeans black coat jacket. So you can't really see the detail in. I'm not sure if I, maybe if I do that a bit brighter to see. So you've got a couple of pockets. Of, oh, you've actually got four pockets on the front. And if you want one there, 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 there. And then you've got the buttons down the middle with a zip. Um, on the shoulders, this has little, I don't know what these are called, but it has these little things and these do button off like that. Uh, so you've got one on the other sleeve as well. Uh, on and then you got little air vents here, which you can see, which they look quite nice actually. These are on the back, back of the arms here, and then under the arm. Oh, let's set out under the arms here. So yeah, that's this is just a nice black jacket, and it is actually my size, so I was going to keep it, but I'm not sure. I will see. That's what I like about getting stuff in my size. I can wear it while I'm waiting for it to sell. So yeah, that's decent. I'll show you the tagging now. Um, so AJ, oh, no, this is a bit of an, well, there we go, Armani jeans, I don't know if this is going to be back to front to you, but um, anyway, it just says AJ Armani jeans, and then it says large or EU 52, so yeah, that was just a nice, simple pickup, it's got a couple of bits of branding on it, um, a lot of stuff like this, uh, like designer stuff, so with the Fred Perry bomber jacket I picked up um, and the All Saints bomber jacket 
Uh, they weren't getting as much attention on Depop, so I chuck them on eBay on auction, and they're both about to sell tomorrow. They've got a few bids on them, so that's decent. So I'd recommend that as well. If you've got designer stuff, a lot of people look on eBay. Like, things like this, maybe like an older, per not an old person, but like someone, like I'd say Depop's more, there'd be a lot more younger people on there, like my age, even younger, or like, I don't know. Uh, but someone a bit older might want it. You get the gist. Anyway, next up, got a Fred Perry grey crew neck. So this is just a plain, you can just see, plain grey crew neck. Under the sleeves, you've got a little bit of like ribbing here. Don't, it's not gonna really show very well. But I don't know if you, no, it's not, you won't be able to see in the frame, but yeah, it's like a little bit of ribbing under the sleeves. This is a small, and it, yeah, it looks quite small. Uh, and then you've got the little crest here. This is actually like a, I don't know how you describe that. It kind of looks a bit purpley. You won't be able to tell with the lighting. It kind of looks just dark grey. So it's a dark grey slash purple. And then on the tag you got uh, going to Fred Perry and that's a small there. Um, at the back, the only downside about this is at the back where the tagging is. Oh, that's not a very good view at all. There's like kind of a tiniest little hole here. But that's nothing really. Uh, I think this might be already sold to one of my mates, so um, it might not be for sale. Well, it is for sale, but check, and if it says sold, then it's gone. Uh, and then this next piece, I actually got this in an exchange as well, and I got a right good deal with this one as well. So the woman wanted like 10, 15 quid for it, but I don't know. I took back like 15 quid worth of stuff. She gave me a ten of cash and this so I basically paid fire for it and this is a Fred Perry Fred Perry um, jacket so it's like um it's like a windbreaker style jacket um, you it's like thin but it's like really really good quality materials so it's like sh um, shower proof not waterproof you know like it will protect you from the rain anyway so it's a raincoat there we go that's what it is, it's a raincoat. And then inside you've got mesh here. And this is brand new. I haven't got the tags or anything like that, but you can just tell when you get something that's brand new. This has never been washed, and maybe, okay, it might have been worn like once. Um, but this is literally brand new. It's in perfect condition. It's in like a, a beige color, like a dark, like a light brown slash beige color. And then it's got a little blue, Fred Perry crest there. So this is really nice. Uh, this is a medium, um, and this will also probably be, but well, this is on Depop, but it might be on uh, eBay as well, just because it's uh, a nice item, Fred Perry, so you know, someone might want it. Uh, as I said before, all this stuff is on uh, eBay or Depop, or actually, what you want to do is follow my Instagram, my app will be below. Uh, I post a lot of pictures of the best things I find, well, I don't post all the pictures of everything I find because uh, there's just quite a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I post a lot of pictures on there, so make sure you follow me on there and you'll see. And then uh, if you want to buy anything, then go ahead. So uh, anyway, we'll get on to the clips now and then we'll round it up at the end. Peace. So that is the end of today's video. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, I, as I said, I'm going to try and bring out my top five pickups of the month um, on Wednesday, my Wednesday video. But on Wednesday, I'm actually going to Drake at the O2, so I'm going to be quite busy. But I'll try and get that done either later today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll see about that. So if it doesn't come, don't. Don't hold me to it, but uh, I'm, that's what I'm gonna try and do. And I'm also gonna try and do that video that I've said I'm gonna be doing for ages uh, of my tips of buying and selling from charity shops or just tips on getting good, nice things yourself. Um, so anyway, we shall, I shall see you soon. And uh, peace. Make sure you follow all the links below as well. And check out the last video if you're interested. See you later. Bye.